We are the men of the Aim High Empowerment Institute. And we define ourselves like this. We are men with ambition, inspiration, and motivation. Our attitudes and actions will transform our nation. We are men with competence, confidence, and character. We walk with integrity and return with honor. We are engaged, educated, and empowered. Persistence and intelligence is the source of our power. We are men of distinction, living this life by design. We move forward together. No man left behind. What? No man left behind. What? No man left behind. What? No man left behind. No man left behind. Here's what I'm telling you. I know it's not any one of our faults. Because if you grew up in a neighborhood and that's all you've seen all your life, it's a certain conditioning that has happened to your mind. You just seen poverty, that's how we live. I see shooting, that's what we do. I see drugs, that's what we do. And our lifestyle leaves us RIP, either resting in peace or resting in prison. It's one of the two. That's fact, it's one of the two. So today we're here in a classroom, and even as we're talking, like some of us still want to be about that life. And even as we finish talk, some of you will still want to leave here and still want to be about that life. Perfect example, just a couple days ago, Bobby Schmurda could shmoney dance all he wants. But guess what? He's locked up now. He might be doing a minimum of 15 years. How much money dance on the... <laughs> that, that, that's what's good. You see, when you were out here and you were free, when you were out here and you were free, you could run around and you could... You, you could, you, you could, you could shmoney all you want. But when you're locked up, it's a different type of dance. It's a different type of dance. And, and, and you know what, I feel sorry for the brother because you know what I said? I said, man, this kid is only 20 years old. And guess what happens now? He was living the life because he went viral on YouTube. And it blew him up. And he started getting out there, but all of a sudden now, when they showed that clip on World Star Hip Hop, how many of you look at World Star Hip Hop? Alright, some of you, alright. On Warsaw Hip Hop, when they showed the clip, he was walking like this, down. His whole crew, head down. Bobby, 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 what do you want to say to your fans? Silent. Nothing. He said nothing. You know why? Because when you're in those moments, you start to reflect on everything. Damn, did I need to be there? Did I need to be doing that? About that life. Now some would say, hey man, look, I made this money, man. I stopped making money. You know, I don't even have to stay in the hood anymore. But if your mentality doesn't grow, what do you do? If your mentality doesn't grow, you just do the same thing you've been doing all the time. You say, hey, this is what got me popular, you know what I mean? This is what got me known. I'm going to live the same life. So here it is now. You should be on a path to freedom now, right? If you were born broke, it wasn't your fault. But now you've made some money, you're doing better. You could get out of that situation. You don't no longer have to do it, but what happens? We continue to do it. Why? Because the mindset hasn't developed. We stay the same way, thinking the same way, conducting ourselves the same way. And then it gets silent. Because I guarantee you, every one of them, every one of his entourage, was lying down in that cell. And I know they were thinking back. Damn, yo, we made it like, like my career just went skyrocket. Right now, I, I don't want it to go down. From the dream to the nightmare. 